beyond technology. The 555 integrated circuit is an easy to use timer that has many applications. It is widely used in electronic circuits, and this popularity means. It is also very cheap to purchase, typically costing around $6. Let's check the pin configuration of 555 integrated circuit timer. Pin 1, ground. Connect to the 0 volts power supply. Pin 2, trigger. Detects one third of rail voltage to make output high. Pin 2 has control over pin 6. If pin 2 is low, and pin 6 is low, output stays high. Pin 3, output. Pins 3 and 7 are in phase. Goes high, about 2 volts less than the rail. Pin 4, reset. Internally connected high, via 100 kilo ohms must be taken below 0.8 volts to reset the chip. Pin 5, Control. A voltage applied to this pin will vary the timing of the RC network. Pin 6, Threshold. Detects two-thirds of rail voltage to make output low, only if pin 2 is high. Pin 7, Discharge. Goes low when pin 6 detects two-thirds rail voltage, but pin 2 must be high. Pin 8, Supply. Connects to the positive power supply. This can be any voltage between 4.5 volts and 15 volts DC, but is commonly 5 volts DC when working with digital IC. The 555 timer has three main operating modes. Mono stable, I stable, and bi stable. Each mode represents a different type of circuit that has a particular output. By using Circuit Wizard simulation software, we will simulate each operating modes to see how it works. Let's begin in I stable mode. An I stable circuit has no stable state. The output continually switches state between high and low without any intervention from the user. As you can see, the light output in pin 3 is blinking. Meaning, the I stable mode circuit produce a high and low output in the pin 3. This is the PCB layout of I stable mode. We will connect oscilloscope probe to CN1 and CN2 terminal. As you can see, the output continually switches state between high and low square wave. This type of circuit could be used to give a mechanism intermittent motion, by switching a motor on and off, at regular intervals. The Mono Stable Mode A mono stable circuit produces one pulse of a set length, in response to a trigger input such as a push button. The output of the circuit stays in the low state, until there is a trigger input. Hence the name monostable, meaning, one stable state. As we press on the push button, pin 3 output will energize. On the PCB layout, we will add a push button as input. To see the output, we will connect oscilloscope probe to CN5 and CN6. This type of circuit is ideal for use in a push-to-operate system, for a model displayed at exhibitions. As we switch on the oscilloscope, you can see a high state displayed in the monitor. And when we energize the push button, high state will drop. As long as push button is pressed, pulse will stay on its state. The bi stable mode. It has two stable states, high and low. 
Taking the trigger input low, makes the output of the circuit go into the high state. Taking the reset input low, makes the output of the circuit go into the low state. Going on to the PCB layout, we will use two push button as trigger and reset. When we energize trigger push button, output will stay at high state. And when we energize reset push button, output on high state will drop, and it will stay in low state. Those are the basic operating modes of 555 timer IC. On the next video, we will make projects using this IC. Simple and cheap projects that can be used in everyday activity. Third Martian. Beyond technology.